So, hallo, herzlich willkommen zurück zum Let's Play von Super Seducer. Jetzt mit Kapitel 4. Ich habe es mal kurz reingeschaut. Aua, nicht viel gemacht. Äh, es geht jetzt um die Frau im Café. In dem Café bei dir um die Ecke sitzt eine hübsche Blondine und Lies. Schaffst du es interessanter, als das Buch zu sein und ihre Nummer zu kriegen? Let's see. Kriegen wir schon hin. Schauen wir mal. Das, das ist immer schwierig, wenn jemand irgendwas macht. Okay, bleib stehen und frag, was sie liest. Werfe ihr vor, dass sie so tut, als ob sie liest, obwohl sie im Wald nach Männern Ausschau halte. Uh, ich sage, du hast ein Buch gelesen und sagst, dass er am Ende schon nein. Ah. <lacht> Komm, ich immer frech. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Are you using this chair? No. Oh. oh, great. I'll just join you then. Okay. How's it going? That's all right. How are you? Good. My name is Richard. Richard Brenner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I help you? Well, that all depends. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I just saw you reading and I thought I'd come and say hello because I have a few minutes before my friends come. So. Oh, okay. This is the right option. Um, it will work if you pull it off with, you know, a bit of a smirk, playfulness. So if it suits your character, this will work as a way to start a conversation in the coffee shop. Hmm. Also hinsetzen ist immer wichtig, wenn jemand sitzt, hinsetzen, obwohl ich das auch ein bisschen... Hm. Gebe mit Büchern an, frage, ob sie oft hierher kommen, finde etwas über sie raus, sag, dass sie schöne Haare hat und lade sie dann zu dir nach Hause ein. Nein, das solltest du nicht tun. Äh, finde etwas über sie raus. Frag, ob sie oft hierher kommt. Ja, warum nicht? So, um, do you come here often to this coffee shop? No, not really. No, first time maybe, second time? I've been here a few times. That's cool. Um, yeah. You go to other coffee shops usually, or just not much coffee drinking going on. Or you take it away, maybe. I do all of those things. All of them. That's cool. Variety. Yeah. They say variety is the spice of life. They do. So it's good that you don't come here often and do the same thing and sit in the same chair, right? Yeah, I think so. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> we always want to stay away from the standard questions, the standard answers, and this one is just an example of the usual lame stuff that guys come up with, so don't do it. <laughs> okay. So, how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home, or, or from anywhere. But, um, it's like internet stuff, and with America, so in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever, so right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's <laughs> so nice. That's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work? Now? Well, I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Ja, sieht so super desinteressiert aus, oder? Äh, Rade, dass sie Sexualkunde unterrichtet. Nope. Sag, dass du nicht auf der Uni warst und es reine Zeit verschwinden. Nope. Finde heraus, ob sie Arbeit mag und ob sie nur wenig. Oh, ja. Ja, warum nicht? So you teach at the university. That's interesting. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, <coughs> I actually do. I honestly, I feel like what I do is important and that the information I convey will be valuable to these people and to my students. That could be true because I still remember uh, my teachers from primary school mm -hmm. and uh, in secondary school, I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects most where the teachers were good? Mm -hmm. And then later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm -hmm. a good teacher can just change the whole course of someone's life. That's Absolutely. Stopped. And like looking back and thinking, what years of school are your favorite? It's like, well, whatever year you had the good teachers, because what you learn is kind of irrelevant. And you're a good teacher? They like I you? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. That's I cool. try. No, I like it, to be honest, because it's, it's very rare. You know, most people just do their jobs for money, and mm -hmm. then they come moan about it, and they hate it. So it's good to meet someone like you who actually enjoys what they do and is making a difference. Thanks. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So well done for picking this. It's the right option. <laughs> and it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why, or she's not, and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. And what's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. Ooh. Oh, what, what does that entail? So kind of a lot, 
quite a few different themes. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that, and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like Back to the Future, <laughs> the movie. Mm, I don't see how, I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they de they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. She's not a funny one, oder? Also, okay. Frage, was das genau ist? Deute an, es was mit der Erfindung von Donuts und Burgers. Nein, das heißt das so. Nee. Sie ist nicht die, die funny girl. Gib mir ein gutes Gefühl bezüglich des Jobs vor, sie aufzuerklären, warum das wichtig ist. In American culture, what's that? It's like uh, George Steinbeck, Edgar Allan Poe and all that stuff? Or? Sure, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our my focus is more on what we could call contemporary culture. Britney Spears. Sure. Kanye. Sure, that is all yeah? relevant. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it must be really interesting for the students. They're not learning about things thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think so. And just kind of seeing how the, you know, the Kanye's and the Kardashians, how their influence reverberates through American society and how that affects how Americans think. Mm. And why is it useful for the students? Because a lot of these students aren't going to stay in their in, in their home country. And yeah. at some point they'll be interacting either with, they'll either be in the United States or just interacting with Americans. And to have some perspective on their psychology or their ideology, yeah. whatever it is. I guess it's useful. important, right? Because yeah. American culture is pervasive, you know, it's kind of it everywhere could be said, yes. and seems to lead the world. So I know that mm -hmm. in England we're always like a few years behind America with all the trends and everything and mm -hmm. it all follows and then Europe a little bit later. But mm -hmm. no, it's it's cool it. And more than that, it must be really interesting for the, the kids. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Mm -hmm. Man, stellt euch mal vor, das ist eure Lehrerin. Wenn es etwas ist, das sie wirklich in ihrem Leben wollen, dann wollt ihr sie nicht beschäftigen oder beschäftigen. Also es ist gut, ihnen eine Validierung zu geben, auf so etwas wie das, den Job, den sie wirklich passioniert ist. Das stimmt, ja. Ich mag meinen Job, aber es gibt eine kleine Sache, die sehr frustrierend für mich ist. Ich habe dieses Problem, in dem ich nicht schauen kann, wenn ich eine Karte mit allen Kopien, die ich brauche, und dann schaue ich nicht mehr nach. Aber ich möchte, dass meine Studenten alle ihre eigenen Kopien nach Hause nehmen müssen. Aber dann muss ich zu den Printer gehen, wie jeden Tag, und dann schaue ich nach meinen Kopien nach Hause nehmen. But then I have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? Ooh, sag, dass das wohl nervt und sie nach einem größeren Druckbudget fragen soll. Sag ihr, dass sie Kollegen, die sie nicht mag, einfach ignorieren kann. Sag etwas allgemeines oder vages, weil du nicht zugehört hast. Sei ehrlich, dass du... Nein. Ah, well, that's bad. So I guess you don't have enough like papers for the students and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. Mm, I guess you can ask for more allowance or get them to share. But yeah, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well done. You were by the sexy chick that walked by. And that's something that, you know, you can use out there. Well done for paying attention. And Thanks. The right response. Thanks. Yeah. Zuhören, Freunde. The teaching thing. And what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs and I love to travel. Ooh. Travel? Yeah. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit these last couple of years especially. Mm -hmm. Nice. And where are some places you've been? Uh, in Europe, I've been in Prague, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia. Nice. So all of Eastern Europe and yeah. kind of former USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like, if people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. Mm. It's amazing. Yeah, just bestimmt. I can't do it justice with words, but it's wonderful. Okay. Erzähl von deinem Trip zum Canyon. Sag, dass es da langweilig ist und es außerdem noch nicht mal WLAN geht. Oh, no, don't do that. Sag ihr, dass der Urlaub in Thailand am besten war und berichte detailliert von deinen sexuellen... No, don't do that. Sag, dass du noch nie da warst, aber gerne mal hingehen würdest. Sie soll dir mehr davon erzählen, was ihr besonders gefallen hat. Ja. Oh. Uh, Grand Canyon, yeah, I've, I've never been there, but I'd like to go. Maybe, you know, go to... What's a good trip? Go to New York, go to LA, San Francisco, Vegas, and then it's somewhere near there, isn't it? So it's, it's, it's over there, yeah. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in that region. Mm -hmm. And then go down there, because hang out... Um, for what? What's good? Like two days or I just two a days. day trip? 
you could do it in a day or two days would be better but one day you could do that yeah I always wanted to go since I saw Superman 2 when they go down on the he goes on, down on the donkey because he's too scared to go on the flying things and then Superman comes and they have their base in the Grand Canyon so it was when I was a kid it was good I always wanted it. to go you should watch it Superman classic oh, okay. if it's got the Grand Canyon in it mm-hmm yeah, me. This is coming back to you, you know, relating everything to yourself. It's not the best answer and Aww. it's not necessary. You can keep the conversation focused on her at this point. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Should I say that? I don't know. I've run out of things to say. What do you want to say? Say something. Halt die Blickerung, warte, bis sie spricht. Halt die Blickerung nicht und schau dich im Laden um, während du darüber nachdenkst, was du sagen sollst. Sag, dass du es nicht magst, wenn es eine unangenehme Stille gibt. Uh, das ist tricky. C vielleicht. Ich würde jetzt C sagen. B ist blöd, weil dann zeigst du kein Interesse mehr. Heißt A oder B. A oder C. Uh, okay, versuchen wir es. You know, I hate awkward silences, but the good thing is that's only because we don't know each other too well, so we won't have any when we're great friends, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Ha! Absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. Thank you. Can you tell me some things you like to do for fun. Well, since I. As long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball. So that's okay. something okay. I try to do whenever I can. My kind squash. No, I played it at school. They had yeah. it in my school. But since Don't say I squash. But they play. I go to Barcelona a lot. Don't they say squash. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and smash sure. it down. For oh, sure. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. But yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian. Ooh. For hobbies. Sag ihr, dass das doof und Putin böse ist. <laughs> Nein, don't do that. Sag ihr, dass du bei Sprache in der Schule eh nicht versagt hast. Uh. Mach ein Kompliment, weil sie sich eine schwierige Sprache ausgesucht hat. Beeindrucke sie, indem du sagst, wie viele Sprachen du sprichst. Hey, komm. Russian? Yeah. Ah. You know, I meet loads of people that speak what french english obviously spanish german mm -hmm. but russian it's really rare to to meet someone who speaks russian it's yeah. pretty cool how come you chose yeah. that i don't really have a good reason when i was in high school i did a i had the opportunity to do a study abroad and my choices were france and russia and i didn't want to go to france so Verständlich. i went to russia and then i just never quit mm -hmm. i actually like that you chose something tough mm -hmm. and that you stuck with it mm -hmm. and you know, like I said, most people take the easy options all the time. So it's interesting and cool that you did that. Thank you. Compliment. Sehr gut. Nice one. You know, when a girl has something that is a real talent, something that she should be proud of, something she's worked hard on, that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So, you know, say well done, say you respect that and say why, and then go deeper into it because, oh. you know, you need to find out why she would do that, why she was interested, what would make her spend the time on it. And it's going to lead to interesting conversation, make her feel good as well. Um, I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? I um, was born in London, but actually, you know what? When I was, when I was young, I, I lived in South London. And they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London and things like this. But um, because I traveled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. Die gefällt mein britischer Akzent doch, oder? Nein. Sag, wie andere die Engländer sehen und frag sie, wie die Leute auf sie als Amerikanerin reagieren. Erzähl ihr, wie die Frauen auf deinem britischen Akzent abfallen und nein. Do you like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's, it's kind of sexy, but maybe that's just when I speak it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America, we have a very good reputation. Mm -hmm. And then some places like Spain, where all the English people go and kind of party and like the hooligans go drinking and stuff. So mm -hmm. the reputation is quite, quite bad. But oh, how yeah, do you find that. it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, but I guess generally people have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and Americans, but I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you 
and judge you individually and not that's good right on a bunch of, not, oh yeah we're lucky yeah? we don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad against us almost anywhere we go right yeah yeah that's true ich finde sie so relativ tough. Nice so, sag, dass du sie magst und sie wiedersehen möchtest, fragt nach ihrer Nummer. Hm. Frag sie, was sie in ihrer Freizeit gerne macht. Sag ihr, dass sie unheimlich schön ist und du ein Date mit ihr haben willst. Freizeit. What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the same time? <laughs> When the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. And do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. It's really unhealthy, but... It I seems unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore... You know. It's healthy? Yeah. So we need to do it sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails. Und dann tanzen. Oh, vielleicht. And do you have any other outdoor, like, active stuff you like to do? Yeah. Don't say squash, I don't know. Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking and I love fishing. And stuff. Fishing? Fishing, yeah. A girl who likes fishing? It happens. Yeah, wow. We, we exist. That's interesting. I've never, never done fishing, but I love the outside as well, you mm -hmm. know, walking in uh, parks or, yeah, mm -hmm. hiking, if you've got somewhere like that. How about bicy bicycle? I like that too. Yeah. Well, that's something else we could do one day, like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. Cool. Ah, Interesse. Das ist ein blöder Zeitpunkt, um zu pausieren. Okay. Frag sie, was sie für nächste Woche geplant hat. Frag sie, auf was für Männer. Nein, mach den Kubus mit ihr. Ein, berühre ihr Gesicht, was sie nächstes Jahr planen. And are you busy this week? Like, what are your plans for the next few days? I'm pretty busy. I have a... My friend is having a party tomorrow, and then this weekend I'm gonna take a train up to Vilnius. Mm -hmm. So, pretty busy. You have free time, no? Maybe. Which Maybe day? on Sunday. Sunday, yeah? Cool. Mm -hmm. I might be free on Sunday as well. Okay. That's exactly right. Now think about this. Have you ever texted a girl saying, hey, can you meet tomorrow? She's like, I'm not in town. And you say, okay. And then text her in a few days. Hey, can you meet tonight? Are you around? Sorry, I've already got plans. Well, to avoid this kind of dumb situation mm -hmm. when you end up not seeing her again, why not find out at the time of meeting her what her plans are for the coming week? It's very easy to find out in person and saves the need for sending loads of dumb text messages that get you rejected. So it's the correct choice. Amen. Schlage vor, sich auf einen Drink zu treffen und lass dir ihre Nummer na. Schlage vor, mal was zusammen wandern zu gehen. Ja, das, das finde ich eigentlich gar nicht so schlecht. Sag, dass du in ein paar Minuten Zeit hast und lass sie auf einen Quickie auf einen... No. Schreib dir ihre Nummer auf und sage, dass ihr... Nein, Kontakt bleiben ist auch immer blöd. Wandern, wandern ist doch gut. Warum nicht? So like, um, hiking and outdoor stuff. And mm -hmm. the weather's pretty good at the moment. So one day we could take a little trip or... I don't know, meet in the evening. Anyway, lots of stuff. We've got lots of stuff we could do together. So why don't you give me your number and we'll, sure. we'll arrange something. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh. Exactly right. It flows very smoothly to find something that you both like and then suggest doing that as the reason to see each other again. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. Yes. Schon wieder so eine komische Pausierung, ey. Äh, Verabschiede dich herzlich und sag ja, wie schön es war, sie kennenzulernen. Schüttle ihre lang, schüttle ihr lang die Hand ein. Zum Abschneiden um Augen und küsse sich. Verabschiede dich kühl und sage das irgendwie nein. Hier, komm. Well, look, I should be heading off, but it was, it was great meeting you. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Really, really happy to meet you. And yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Oops, you know, you got right to the end, but this is a little bit too much. Um, being warm at this point, totally unnecessary, 
And if anything makes you look like a little bit of a wussy, I might make you okay. change your mind about seeing you again. Echt? Was sollst du dann machen? Sie, sie umarmen? Sie knutschen? What? This is the right option. Das, also, sie war echt um, tough. Die war echt tough, ey.